In this video, I want to talk about why I picked Robin as the Gotham Knight of choice that I want to play. And I feel like it's a choice that not many people have made compared to all the other knights. What makes Robin special to me is the perfect focus on stealth gameplay and the one shot mechanics that you can do as Robin. I mean, for starters here in the shadow tree of your abilities, one of the second abilities you get here is to take uh, to perform a takedown or stealth strikes on large enemies. You can take out large enemies without having to focus on them the hard way. And this makes it incredibly fun because you can literally stealth take out every single enemy in an entire encounter without it being a problem, which is fantastic, it's great. In fact, stealth is so good that even if you're not in stealth, doing a regular aerial attack is actually followed up by a small cloud of smoke allowing you to re-enter stealth. And this is apart from like, you know, smoke bombs and stuff which you can use to get back into stealth. So the whole entire focus on stealth is amazing. And because of your your stealth issues, uh, like your stealth and your takedown like playstyle, you get a lot of buffs and damage increases for doing these things. Like for this ability here, performing a takedown increases your damage, critical, chance, defense, and elemental effect build up for 15 seconds and then you have like ones here where it increases your critical damage by 20% you have deals 20% to enemies when you're attacking them from behind and then you have increased Robin's chance of landing a critical hit by 10% so even if you mess up the the like you know the the takedown or if you just start with one takedown and go straight into combat you get all of these buffs right after that which makes it incredibly good there's also one that I'm working towards here that allows you to have critical damage a critical chance of landing a critical hit in Increased by 20% on targets that have an active elemental effect, which is something that you're going to be doing often as uh, as a you know a player like this. For example, when you use your microbots, you end up applying an elemental effect to those enemies, like fire. I, I believe it's actually always fire. I'm not sure. I don't know if this scales to what weapon you use, but so far what I've seen is it's always been a fire effect. And if you're damaging these enemies while they're on fire, you're going to do a ton of damage. So if you're using this against the boss, it's going to be a great way to get a ton of damage out on the boss. You also get a ton more abilities to stealth take down enemies. Like one here, when you're like suspended on one of these hanging things here, you can like hang an enemy up there. They do make noise and you can unlock a further ability that drops like a grenade or proximity mine that lures enemies. So as you hang this dude here, his friend comes running over and he hits the bomb and he like explodes and, and he gets taken out. And you also have one here, the final one in this tree, which I'm also going to try unlock towards uh, level 30, which is the max level for your first playthrough, I believe. And this one restores 25% of your health, which is, which is great. So if you need HP, you just smoke bomb up and you assassinate somebody and boom, your health is going up. And this one here is one of my favorites here. Robin is harder to spot and enemies take longer to notice him. You can literally assassinate somebody next to a dude and if they're not looking at you, they're probably not even going to know you're there. So it's really cool to like chain the takedowns because the, the enemies just won't know that you're there. You also have this base increase here for while you're undetected, your melee and range attacks are by 20% and your takedowns and stealth strike are plus 20%. But I feel like those are one shot attacks anyway. I haven't really had it where it's not a one shot. So maybe maybe there's some cases where it's not an instant kill. But for, for most cases for me, it always has been. And that's the major reason why I find myself playing Robin the most because of that cool one-shot capability playstyle and he's really fun to play. Hitting people with the staff feels really good and in general that's why I think you guys should at least try Robin out and see how it compares to some of the other heroes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.